Hi everyone, Bill Porter again. Uh, I had some questions about my last behind the scenes video, so I wanted to take a moment while I'm breaking down my display today to make, make another one to answer that question. And the question was about what I meant when I say I build power injection into my prop. Uh, so I have half my front line broken down and on my driveway here, and I thought I'd, it'd be a good example of what I was talking about. So I have four of these uh, mini trees from Boscoyo. Um, each is about 70, each is 70 pixels. Um, I have four of them in my show, since you got four of them right there. Forgive the shadows. Um, when I designed them, what I decided to do was I was going to string them all as one line of pixels to save uh, ports. Um, so the way I built them is they have a, a three-core three, three core in connector at the bottom here that connects to the first pixel. They have a three-core out connector here connected to the last pixel. And then where I soldered pixel 50 and 51 together to wire in the star, I added this trailer connector. So each one of these uh, trees has this little trailer connector that's soldered in between pixel 50 and 51. So when I wire them, I have my one port coming off of Falcon F4 that comes to the first tree. And then second tree plugs into the first tree, just like that. And then third tree plugs in the second tree just like that. And then finally the fourth tree plugs in the third tree just like that. And then each tree has its own power injection run that in this case is a 18 gauge alarm wire I believe. Let me step back. So I have five cords running to my four trees. One is the three core pixel data and power to the first tree. And then the other four cords are power injection to each tree. So you can see them run back to my box here. So here's my one port off of F4 sitting in the lid there. And then here is my four power injection connections just for those trees. So about, I think they're almost 300 pixels total. 300 pixels on one port off that F4. And then it's only five cables to wire them. A more extreme example of this would be my pixel poles here. These are 150 pixels a piece. Uh, once again, like I wire everything, each pole has a 3-pin data in, a 3-pin data out, and a single point of power. So when I wired the pole, I, I power injected at the bottom of every one of these strands here. So out of the six strands on this pole, they all get fresh power at this pixel at the bottom. And I built that into the prop, and then used shrink, soldered and shrink to bring that to one power connector. So again, three poles. We have the one pixel in, off the port off the F4, pixel out from the first pole, goes in the pixel into the second, pixel out of the second pole, goes in the pixel into the third. Each pole has a single power connector. In this case, I ran the power connectors as 14 gauge landscape cable. And then the 14 gauge landscape cable comes to my power connectors off my box. So in this case, I have, uh, let's see, 300, 450 pixels in those pixel poles, plus the 300 pixels in my mini trees here. And those only consume two ports on my F4. Um, and then I, I, I run, I don't run, power does run through the F4, but I also have inline fuses and marine grade terminal blocks to power to some of the high current stuff, like the pixel poles and the mini trees. Um, so it's not that complicated once you really get down into it. It's just not very, um, I don't see a lot of people doing it this way. People tend to like to buy the F16 controllers and, and, and running individual strings to multiple, multiple individual strings to a prop. So I wanted to explain how my method works that keeps some of my display a little bit neater or easier to swap out. Because again, I, I kind of follow the same convention. Every single one of my props has a pixel in, a pixel out, and a single power connection. And then inside the prop itself is where all the power injection takes place. Uh, let's see if I can show you one more. So the holly is the same way. This is 5 volt holly. I don't know if I'll be able to shoot behind it. 
So when I wired the holly, I figured out where the injection point would be great to put in. And I believe it's right in the middle. And again, it has a, a pixel cord in, a pixel cord out, and a power connection. Can't really see that with the sun. But anyway, I hope the beginning part of this video kind of helped explain what I'm talking about. The only thing that's left is my arches. My arches are my third port on my F4. I do believe I think I power inject here and at the two ends of the arches. So that's a little bit different because some things you can't obviously build power injection into because the arches are pretty small and pixel count. So I kind of treat those as a long line of pixels and I do do typical power injection right in the middle. Power injection at the beginning and power injection at the end. And all of those props run off three ports on an F4 that's sitting in that box. Everything's powered from, most everything's powered from this one 5 volt power supply. Uh, and the 12 volts just for the arches because I use 12 volt strips in those arches. And the way it's wired, I can do everything at 100% brightness if I wanted to with no degradation in color or performance. And uh, thanks to how awesome the Falcon controllers are, I do use an expansion board, or excuse me, an F4 differential receiver to run my pixel tree as well. But I think this is a good example of what I was talking about when I meant when I said I wire power injection into my props. All right, happy new year, new year, everyone.